As the years go by, the possibility of a future where all cars on the road do not have anyone behind the wheels but are controlled remotely is becoming inevitable. The move towards self-driving cars started even before the year 2000, when manufacturers introduced anti-lock brakes and cruise control into cars to increase safety on the road. However, as time passed, they included lane shift warnings, blind spot detection, and even stability control. It was only a matter of time before car manufacturers discovered that they could do so much more. Why not remove the need for a human driver completely and get vehicles moving fully through automation? 2016 welcomed the era of partial autonomy in cars, and Tesla is leading the charge in the world of self-driving cars. Now, there is a need to look at the pros and cons of self-driving cars, but before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with the notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Are we really better with cars that can drive themselves? Let's talk about the pros. Reduction in number of road accidents. A huge chunk of road accidents can be traced back to human errors. It could be distractions like talking on the phone while driving or even driving under the influence of alcohol, but for sure your computer won't be drunk or texting while driving. And that's how it reduces the number of road accidents. Self-driving cars are already programmed to behave a certain way when on the road. Several sensors are in place to detect items including trees, animals, and other cars of course, so generally speaking they are safer than anyone can imagine. Just think about a world where accidents are super rare. That would be awesome. It's certainly a good thing for the number of deaths, which is up to 4 million deaths yearly, to reduce to the barest minimum. This also applies to the animal roadkill, which reports say are more than a million every year, especially in the United States. While moving at night, the human eye can easily miss out on a deer that pops out suddenly in front of your vehicle, and that's a huge collision in the making when you're unable to react early. But that's not the same with driverless cars. That will ensure they sense any and everything accurately before it even gets within the view of the vehicle. No matter matter how dark it is. Up next is boost productivity of millions of people. Do you have any idea how much time you spend in traffic jams while commuting on the way to work? On average, this could take about 25 minutes or more, depending on how far your workplace is from home, but you'll feel the difference when you're able to put this time to good use rather than wasting it on getting around. Those few minutes are more than enough to jumpstart your workday and get yourself mentally prepared for the tasks ahead. And you can only get that extra time with driverless cars. Think of how many things you can brush up on before you step into your workplace. Sure, it doesn't look like much time, but when this becomes a daily habit, you'll notice the boost in productivity. Driving could contributes to stress in the body, especially when you get caught up in road rage. So instead of increasing the risk in body mass and blood pressure that comes with long daily commutes, driverless cars eliminate the stress associated with unsafe driving. You'll be relatively calmer when you're not the one behind the wheel, but still have the car within your control. Of course, these cars don't need to honk at each other while on the road, instead they communicate silently and the horn becomes less useful. That's a lot of noise from your driving time, all thanks to self-driving cars. Up next is saves you money. Most people have one major issue when they take their driving tests, and that's parallel parking. You may even be able to relate to failing this part of your driving test over and over again. That's both a waste of money and time, but you don't have to worry about that with self-driving cars. These come with fully functional automated parallel parking systems that gets it done for you smoothly. Computers just do it better, don't you agree? If you look closely, you'll realize that the theme of helping you save money comes with every pro that we've mentioned so far. Self-driving cars can save you money when you don't have to spend so much on fixing up your car after an accident and while you're not spending on commuting to work. There is also going to be a significant reduction in insurance costs. With automation, the auto industry is predicted to shrink, and that means spending less on insuring your vehicles. Now you can put all that money to good use, especially if you love investments. Up next is less polluted environment. We all know how much carbon gets released in the atmosphere daily from cars that run on gas. Although we have millions of cars running on the streets, even just 10% of them is more than enough to pollute our environment and expose people to various degrees of health problems. Self-driving cars, on the other hand, serve as the perfect replacement for gas guzzlers, as they will be running fully on electricity. What this means is that there will be low energy consumption and high efficiency on the road. Instead of spending so much on gas that is killing us slowly, all you have to do is find a charging station and you're good to go. You can even get your car charged without ever getting behind the wheel. Self-driving cars are a great way to make the world safer for mankind, and you can even benefit from how much garage space this saves. Having a garage space in your home won't be that necessary with driverless cars, when you could just keep them in a specially reserved parking space for the vehicle. That would save you some cash you would have spent on having a garage connected to your home. Of course, we can't forget how the elderly and those with other disabilities that could affect their driving skills will love self-driving cars. Older people losing their ability to drive is a common occurrence, but self-driving cars will give them just enough freedom to get in that driver's seat again. It's a win-win situation for everyone. Up next is automatic car updates. The number of times you have to drive into a car shop with gas-powered vehicles will definitely be more than that of self-driving cars. Need your car updated? No need to step out of your home as this will be done automatically. Most times your car could even drive itself 
to wherever it needs to be repaired. And that's not even the best part. Self-driving cars are so awesome that they could automatically update their software overnight while you're sound asleep. Now that we've talked about as many pros as possible, let's look into some of the cons of self-driving cars. Despite how awesome driverless cars can be, it's not without its downsides. To be honest, nothing is truly perfect. So, what are these cons? Here are a few of them. Loss of jobs. Technology is making life so much easier for us. There's no doubt about that. We can carry out so many activities online, effectively eliminating some of the middlemen we relied on years ago. But the downside to the rise in innovation is the loss of jobs. All of those tasks we depended on ourselves to carry out manually can now be done much faster with computers. So, of course, we will feel the effects of this self-driving cars as well. When 80% of the cars on the road have no drivers, we would have cut off all those who earned their livelihood from driving. Car hiring services like Uber will have to adapt to driverless cars, which means fewer people being able to use this to earn a living. Let's not forget truck drivers, which are in their millions, especially in the United States. When they get replaced by technology in the next few decades, that will increase the unemployment rate, especially if there is no ready alternative for those who will be out of jobs. Even small towns that rely on revenue from vehicle violations and speeding tickets won't have so much money coming in anymore. What are the chances that a completely automated vehicle will drive above the official speed limit? None, actually. They're all configured to stay within this limit, and cops won't have to pull them over. It may take a while for these towns to adapt to the new normal. Up next is increase in cyber threats. When you check the hood of any self-driving car, what do you think you'll find under there? Well, you'll see lots and lots of wires. It's not surprising that the car runs on a complex system of wires, but this also has its downside. Just as your gadgets like laptops and smartphones can be vulnerable to attacks from hackers, so can your self-driving car. In this case, it will be even more dangerous than losing your personal info to online thieves. Any hacker who has control over your car can get it to drive anywhere they want to. Also, we can't rule out the data mining opportunity this presents for companies. We already know how social media platforms and online shopping sites have access access to user data. You could be checking out bags on an online store and spend the next few weeks closing hundreds of ads on bags. Something similar to this will happen with self-driving cars. Companies will collect as much data as possible to check out travel habits and movements of users. The goal is to enhance their marketing strategy and make more money out of car owners. Up next is more money spent on road infrastructure. With self-driving cars, it's easy to forget your driving skills after months of not touching steering. This is dangerous as you won't be prepared enough to take control of the car suddenly during an emergency. To minimize this happening as much as possible, the government has started on projects that will involve a complete overhaul of the current road infrastructure. A more expensive design system will be put in place to make the road more friendly to self-driving cars. This is also something that won't get done within a few months, but could take years to perfect. Knowing that we will still be trying to adjust to the era of self-driving cars, there will of course be lots of mistakes along the way. And there you have it. Are you for or against self-driving cars? What are your reasons? Let me know in the comments. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching.